Hey everyone, hi fam, welcome back. So today is a really simple video, man. We're just doing two big things. We've got a pool fight we're about to go to. We heard some gunfire, we're gonna go to that. And then second, we actually start in on Corvega. We're gonna take out some raiders today. So that's it, real simple, let's go. Oh, I can hear them now. All right, let's take a look. Nothing? Wait, is that movement? That is movement. It's a raider. Shit! Lost him. Maybe hitting that little awning first will help. Maybe he doesn't notice me. Thanks. Thanks, Codsworth. I know you're here. Yeah, I am here. Where are you? Peekaboo. That was kind of cool. We can put a dude hiding in the water. I'm still under caution. Somebody coming. Huh. Raiders versus ghouls. Everybody loses. I guess both the raiders die and the ghouls die. Everybody wins. Oh, hi guys. Oh, is that it? Oh. I guess that was it. Now my, uh... My VAT system is telling me I'm I'm hidden with no, uh... No enemies. I guess I can stand up. That's... That's lovely. And we'll just dump you over here. Bye. But, I'm looking for a different body. There was a ghoul in here that just got taken down. I saw it. It's on video. I recorded it. The ghoul was killed right here. Oh no, I'm under a bug. There we go. There we go. Okay. There is a weird bug that will cause your gun to not... To not be held properly or work properly, and it does it when you get into water that is just deep enough to trigger the gun to be put away, but not deep enough for the gun to stay away. It's like in that little hovering space in between, and sometimes you end up with your gun sort of like permanently stuck in this like mid position. But it looks like swapping guns fixed it. Hmm. All right, don't know where that ghoul is, and this totally plays into the exact problem I was saying, which is uh, sometimes when the game, when you kill something, the game, oh, a frag grenade, I'll take it. The game does not properly leave the body where you killed it, and you end up with this really big problem of, like, you know there are corpses around, but where in the world are they? I guess it's not a big problem. I shouldn't say it like it's a big problem, but... Um, but that kind of bums me out, and it could mean that the body is like, maybe it got placed like over here by the side or something. Like if I wander around, I might find the body not in the water, which is very strange. I wish I had Barry Mentats, I would use them. I really shouldn't use the Barry Mentats just to find a body. I should use Barry Mentats in like a crisis or something, but I'm so curious to figure out what happened to that ghoul body right now. I, I would love to use the Barry Mentats just to figure it out. <laughs> Find out where the game put it. Thanks, Raider. Love the bullets. Much appreciated. Thanks for taking down a ghoul on your way out. That was also nice. 
Well, I'm assuming you took that ghoul out. I suppose it could not have been you. Could have been someone else. All right, well, we are going to use the bed at the top of the road this time around because at least now my character has seen it, it's not very cheaty or breaking roleplay to think of the fact that my character might be like, I will use that bed as a base. Now that he's seen it, he knows he can use it. He's going to use it. That's a dude. I could take him out right now. That's two dudes. Do I want to take him out right here from the ground? I don't. I don't want to take him out from the ground. Oh. <laughs> oh. Codsworth is going to do all the work. <laughs> I'm just going to take a perfunctory sniper shot at the end after everything's done. I'll be like, oh, I'll just throw an extra bullet in there just for no reason. Oh, there's another one. Can I do this one, please? Woohoo! Weapons. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, sure. This is not a good spot to get up onto the overpass. Shoot. Shoot. Oh. Oh. All the way down. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That was gold-plated flip lighter. There's my um, red rocket. We'll go back to that in a second. Just want to check those. That's not a door I can get through, is it? No, it's not. Okay. Oof. Oof. I am just wasting my power armor on non-Corvega stuff. This is very foolish. Gotta stop getting distracted by all the fun stuff. Do my job. Oof, every time I don't make that jump. So we had come over here, and I heard talking, and that was when I found these guys, and I ended up taking them out, and that was the scary guy with the fat man, and I really, I think, the fat man gun with the nukes, I think he is much scarier if you don't come up here. Um, my memory is just running scared from him in a different version of this game. Like, in a different playthrough. Oh, oh, I was about to jump over the edge to get to the other side, but I didn't realize there was a big gap. Okay. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, look at this. I'm just right out in the open. Is there anything interesting to see? Oh my gosh, really? Oh! The barricade barricaded me! I had a clean shot of his head! Oh my gosh, okay, alright. Ugh, <sighs> sad. Well, it didn't seem to set off any warning bells. Nobody's freaking out on me. Let's come over to here. And let's tell Codsworth and my cargo buddy to stay put, like, right here behind everything. Yeah, Codsworth. Yo, psst. Mr. Tony? Hold. Presently, sir. Good job, buddy. And then... Okay, good. Now, stay right there. Don't be sad. We're just being secretive. Let's turn off my light. Alright, let's see if I can take a pot shot at anybody. That is a person. Uh, I had a good shot, but he started moving. Well, that helps a little bit. Let's see if he stops moving. He does. Oh, 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 oh. That's two. Man. Gun nut is such a good perk. Instead of five shots per raider, or ten shots per raider. Oh, I'll, I'll be a coward. I'll be your coward if it means I get to live. Gosh, should I take it through the flooring? I, I hate doing that. It worked. I know you're here. Find you. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious I'm here at this point, man. I just killed like three or four of your buddies. I've already lost count. Not tracking it very well, but that's that's a bunch of dudes down. Middle of the night. You're losing your friends. You know we'll find you. Why not get it over? Ah, oh, he's way back behind the pipes. Dude behind the pipes is I was too slow to react. Dang it. All right. There he is. Okay. Hey, buddy. You're out. Another one. You're out. That is the second time I've let a core go. Are you kidding me? What's blocking me? Why? The bullets were like ricocheting or something. What are they hitting? Are they hitting this giant pipe? Huh. Where'd he go? Is that him right there? Can I move slightly to the side? And I saw him run behind the pipe. Yeah, shoot. Alright. I think I did a, my job for a lot of these people up top. Oh, there's another guy there. I can I can see him. Okay. Um. 
Anybody seeing this wondering how I'm doing that, how I'm getting my shots off so easily? Really, seriously, gun nut perk. Um... What I did is I took a level of gun nut perk. This won't take long. Oh, buddy, you don't sound convincing. Uh, gun nut perk, and then I got my rifle up to the most damage that I could possibly get it to be. And as far as I can tell, uh, I hit the the wood. Shoot. Um. There we go. As far as I can tell, the game is balanced for normal guns. Like, whatever the the normal un-gun nut level of a gun is, that's what the game is balanced for. Which means that if you take a level of gun nut, or two or three levels of gun nut, the the game is not balanced for that, and you 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 out you outdo what the game expects. And at that point, you just have a very scary, scary sniper rifle. Um... Wait. I was about to jump over the edge and go get all the bodies, and then I realized I don't have Codsworth with me. I don't have Cargo Buddy with me. You like that? Okay, good. Psst. Something you need, Let's sir? go! Now, I'm being a little bit too open and noisy, which should draw attention from any remaining raiders, which I kind of don't want. I really like that I stealth pretty much everyone. But my thought is, I got m most of these guys, I think. Um... Oh, I hear somebody walking. Or some, I hear something. Maybe it's not somebody walking. There was noise in my right ear. Oh, I hear it again. Okay, I think it's just gunfire. I know uh, most people who played this game would be like, why are you doing that? Why are you taking all the gear? Just get the bullets and run. Um, but I'm intending to make this a settlement build game. Like, I'm, I'm gonna build so much stuff in this game. So I'm taking all the loot that I possibly can. And I have my little trusty cargo buddy with me. Um, he's the reason that the channel is called A Man and His Box, because that's my little box. Um, he's a mod. Um, he's called, I think it's called Carry Your Stuff Bots, or Carry Your Stuff Robots. But you could look for that mod if you're interested in modding the game to have the same little dude. And I just have him following me around, and he takes on all the gear that I have. Uh, he's powered, I believe, by like there's a little there's a little fusion core with a little jet similar to what Codsworth has holding him up in the air. They both sort of float and follow me around. Um, and uh, but I he might have this little cargo buddy box might have unlimited carrying capacity or it's it's really high if if it is limited it's i don't know a ton something i don't know it's a lot um so i'm going to give oof running out those power cores um i'm going to give my guy all the gear that i can and just keep going and i'm going to take uh all the gear i can off of these bad guys um, my intention or hope is to fully, like, pillage Corvega, you know, along with any other things I'm doing, but right now, obviously, what matters is I'm in the middle of Corvega, so that's what I care about, and so my intention is to get as much gear as I can, dump it into the box, take all that gear, and dump it into a new settlement, uh, to just sort of flesh out that settlement instantly and have it have, you know, all the equipment that it needs. Now, I don't know, um... I don't know which settlement is going to get everything in the box. 
Uh, I don't know if it's going to be ten pines, because we'll finish this mission, and ten pines will be one uh, over. Uh-oh. Um, where are you? Where are you? Nope, don't want cargo, buddy. No, give me the bad guy. That's the bad guy? Sure. There we go. There's another one. Oh well. Go. Get over here, sir. Okay. Oh, there's still I'm still in danger. I'm out in the open. Somebody's taking pot shots at me. Power armor is the only thing protecting me right now. There it is. Love my gun. Somebody up there, you think? Oh, get him, Codsworth. Can I help you? Where is he? He's there. Helped you. I'm still under caution? Oh my gosh, there's so many extra guys here. Way more than I thought. Okay, we'll worry about them when they start firing. I'm gonna hope my power armor will protect me enough that I can take a shot or two before I die, figure out where they are, and end them before they end me. Take some 45 round. That's nice. Oh, Codsworth, did you just jump in front of me? Codsworth. Let me go. Anyway, what I was saying is, I don't know who gets the box. It could be 10 Pines Bluff. If we finish this mission, we go straight to Ten Pines, we tell them that we took out the raiders, and if we do that, they will just get, they'll turn their workshop over to me, and I will just fill it with all the loot I have from Corvega. And that will start their settlement, that will be their sort of seed money or seed gear that we give them to get them going. Um, but if it's not them, for example, if I can't finish this in a timely fashion and I have to retreat, it might end up being that it goes to, you know, Starlight Drive-In or something like that. We'll figure out who ends up with the big pile of loot at the end. Um, of course, this is predicated on the notion that I will win, which is very arrogant of me to think that I will win. But I do have something that the bad guys don't have, and that is the power of reload. I don't know that they can get past my superpower of being a PC who can load up saved games. I think that might help me win. Alright, right back to ya. Okay, so we did this side. I can... Jump down and get over and take that side. I think I'm gonna... Oh, I missed it. I missed it. That's so sad. Did I not have my light on anymore? I was trying to be stealthy. that cup without crouching? No. Still can't get it. There we go. Oh, guys, I just got hungry. I don't mean my character, I mean me in the real world. I just got hungry. Probably gonna have to wrap this gameplay up here pretty quick. It's so weird how fast it comes on. It's like I was perfectly fine two minutes ago. And then all of a sudden my body is like, bro, you need to, you need to eat like right now. Why? Why do I need to eat so badly, so quickly? 
I feel like hunger pangs should come on, like, gradually. You should be like, oh, I'm, I could eat a little. Mm. And then a little more, and then a little more, and then you're like, oh, I'm really quite hungry. But no. I go from don't want to eat at all to I will eat everything. Hey, I remember blowing your head off. Those are good times. Good times. Gotta get yourself a computer with a ton of memory so that the bodies remain all over. Bodies on the floor. I don't remember where everyone is that I shot. Oh, there's a dude right there though. We will definitely just jump down and take his corpse. Great. Probably almost for the... That's where the game wants us to go in. They want us to go in through that little trap door there. Um, we're not going to take that trap door right now. But we will take this red hatch that's very obvious. Oh, and my... My carry robot was already in here. Buff out. Very nice. What do we have here? Mining helmet. Dog food. You, you were eating dog food for lunch, bro? Oh, I got overloaded. There it is. Come here, little robot. One core left. Well, I currently have a one core in use. I wonder how full the current core is. Let's take a look at that. What do I got there? It's it's a little over half. So I've got one and a half. I'm, the current core being used is about halfway done. You can see it in the lower right. I don't know. I don't know if that's enough to get me through all of Corvega. <sighs> but... That's okay. We're, we'll do as much as we can. And we will... We will cross the bridge of no cores when we get to it. Is that you making that noise? You can go away. What about you? Are you making that noise? You can go away. Oh, no. Nope. I can hear it. That's a terrible shot. Yeah, not helping. Okay. Okay. That poor raider, I think he was the last one. I think all his buddies are dead. It's, it's sad for him. Hmm. Hey, Codsworth. Codsworth, you're pushing me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. Lots of memory in your computer, and the bodies just stick around forever. I think this area right here is what taught me to explore. Like, my first time playing this game, came to Corvega, and I did not know what kind of game Fallout 4 was going to be. And, uh, and I just, I came up, I came up here, I don't even know that there was a body up here, I was just like, well, I just want to just see what's, like, is there anything neat up here? And I got up to the end here and I was like, oh, there's something neat, there's something severely neat. Nice. Oh, Fusion Core's last longer, that's even neater than I thought! 
Does it randomly switch or is it always fusion cores here? Because that's really cool. Okay. I'm super happy. Yes, I take it. Um... I think that might have been the first... No, it was the second bobblehead I got. I got the, the first bobblehead I got was from Preston. Back when you find him and you help his, his people. But I think that, that must have been the second bobblehead I got. And I remember being really happy. It must have been the same thing. It must have been it was fusion cores. I must have been really happy about fusion cores. But um, whatever it was, I was so happy about it. And I was like, okay, so this is going to be one of those games where they reward you for, like going out of the way. Like, this is a long way up. Who's going to come all the way up here? Why would you bother to get all the way up onto this upper deck or upper tier? And, uh, and it turns out that's, that's how you get the cool stuff is that this game will, will sort of nestle things away like that. No, it doesn't. Anyway, um, Anyway, I just, I ended up thinking like, okay, so it's going to be that kind of game. And so I started to explore every nook and cranny. And once you explore every nook and cranny, you realize like, these game devs have just like put so much, so much stuff in so many places. It's just ridiculous. Um, if you want to do like a scavenger, scrounger kind of play style where you just like pick up everything and find all the cool stuff. That playstyle is absolutely available to you. I know a lot of people don't play it that way. They find it really tedious and boring. And and I think that's great for them. They should, you know, if they're just like, I'm going to pick up bullets and I'm not going to worry about anything else, then do it, man. Do it. Have your good game. But I actually like that. Oh, girlfriend's here. Hi, baby. <laughs> um. Apparently last time I was more scared and I had my clothes in my car so I could change and I don't this time. <laughs> uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause the game, guys. Yes. I'll be right back. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel and uh, hit there's a bell to make the notifications happen more often. So make sure you get that bell. And um, hey, I just really appreciate you guys watching the videos. Thank you so much. Uh, and next video, more Corvega. We're going to go inside the Corvega building and see if we can't kick some butt in there. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.